Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be turning a double chevron Gisi themed blank. This is the newest blank that I've been making. I do have a few of them out of my Etsy store if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Uh, I, if they sell well, I'll make more. But I'm going to turn this blank and show you what it looks like. Not too bad. I got a little bit of cleanup work to do. Uh, you'll notice I was using my magic skew for turning this blank. And the reason why with these blanks, I found they turn much better if you can start at the end of the blank and turn to the center from both ends. If you try to go all the way down a blank, you've already got 30 degree angles on your wood, so you're not turning with the grain. And what happens is you can lift that grain and chip these areas out. So by using the skew, the uh, magic skew, I was able to start at the end, work to the middle, and then come back from the other end and just sort of clean it up. This blank sanded well and it looks really nice. We just need to clean it with some denatured alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Uh, we'll uh, micro mesh it, buff it, and I'll come back and show you the blank as I'm preparing to install it into a kit. It's time to press my double chevron Gisi themed blank into a pin kit. And because this blank is so funky, I chose a funky kit. Take a look at that. This is the Elegant Prism Ballpoint Pin Kit. Uh, it came from Exotic Blanks and uh, it looks pretty cool. So let's see how it looks all together with the blank. Let's chamfer the uh, edges of our blank. That's my deburring tool. Clean the uh, burrs out drop our uh, blank, I'm sorry, our bushing into the end to protect it. And let's grab our cap. And I tell you, I honestly think there's a little natural blemish in the wood. So I think I'm going to press the uh, clip right down the back of the pen, uh, just to kind of take away from that blemish and leave the other end, you know, nice and pristine. Just gonna hold my clip in place as I press to make sure it goes right down the back of the blank. Take a look at that fit, isn't that nice? I haven't talked about exotic blanks much. Um, I got these kits uh, in a batch of blanks that I purchased from someone who was getting out of uh, turning, uh, but I will put a link to exotic blanks in the uh, video description, and uh, if you check them out and you buy something from them, let them know you learned about them from RGB Wood Turner. This kit assembles like any standard Sierra kit. You see me use the Monarchs mostly, but uh, there is no difference. They're all pretty much the same mechanism. And I think this pin, of course, minus my greasy fingerprints uh, from the grease on the uh, transmission, I think this pin looks pretty good. I'll get it uh, polished up with, uh, with a nice uh, terry cloth and it should look gorgeous. Let me know what you think. It was a lot of fun for me to turn this shop made blank. I had a great time making the blanks, but uh, turning one and seeing what the uh, end result is, it just really blows your mind. I kind of like the kit. It's cool. Um, I don't know, maybe a little too much color for the blank. I'm not sure, but I'm overall happy with it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I will put a link for exotic blanks in the video description. Uh, if you guys would like an RJB Woodturner, 
t-shirt. I have them for sale now at my Redbubble. Uh, I'll put a link to that. And if you guys happen to be interested in buying blanks, um, my Etsy store, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. I have several of these blanks out there. If they sell well, I'll make more. And uh, I also have some of my past video pins out there. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you've seen some pins, and there's one that you particularly liked, you may go check the store and see if you can find it. It might be out there. About half of the pins that I've made are out there now. When these are gone, I'll put the other half out. So check back off and, and be sure to like my Etsy store, my Redbubble store, and uh, this video if you check them out because uh, the algorithms at all of those companies and all of those sites, they, they base themselves on likes and interactions. So if you comment, if you like, they say, hey, something's going on with this video or something's going on with this guy's uh, Etsy store, and they push it out to other people. So help me out. I really appreciate it. Last thing, I want to let you guys know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, and have a great evening.